All right, welcome back traders. This is Matt from Zen in the Art of Trading. Today's video, I'm gonna be covering how to detect basic candlestick patterns in PineScript. So this lesson is going to build off the previous lesson, lesson five, and in lesson four and five, I showed you how to detect uh, RSI conditions, indicator conditions using the inbuilt PineScript function. And we're just going to adjust the script here so that alerts are only triggered uh, when the RSI is overbought and oversold and we get a engulfing candle like this here and this up here. We've got a bullish engulfing candle here and a bearish engulfing candle here after the RSI has gone overbought and oversold. So I'm going to show you guys how to detect uh, that condition using PineScript and let's get into it. I'm going to break this up into three lines of code to make this easier to understand. So the first thing we're doing here is we're going to identify engulfing candles. So the first one we're going to detect is a bullish engulfing candle. And in order to detect a valid engulfing candle, we need to find a candle that closes higher than the previous candle opened. Uh, it's, it can be different for stocks and things like that where there's gaps in price action. But for this lesson, we're going to keep it simple. We're just going to focus on this, uh, this Forex pair, this uh, gold versus US dollar, where there are no gaps in price action. And so what we need to detect is whether this current closing price of the current candle is greater than or equal to the previous opening price. So using this as an example, uh, we want to check if this closing price is greater than or equal to this opening price. And the way you would reference this previous bar is by using what's called an array. So this array will reference, depending what number you put in here, say one, two, three, four, a hundred, whatever you put in here will reference uh, the number in previous bars from the current candle. So let's just assume that this right here is our current candle. We want to detect whether the closing price is greater than the candle before it. So we're looking one candle back. So we put in a one in here, uh, but this is also going to detect, if we just leave this as it is, it's also going to detect higher, high, high closes because this candle here closed higher than the previous open as well. So we need to filter this signal and make sure that the previous candle closed bearish. And all that means is that the closing price is lower than the opening price. So in order to do that, we combine these two Boolean values. So we want to find out, did the candle close higher than or equal to the previous open? And did the previous candle close lower than its opening price? That's it. That's all we need in order to detect uh, this pattern here very simple. So the next one is a bearish engulfing candle. And it's basically just the opposite of all of this. So we're looking for a candle that closed less than or equal to the previous open. And the previous candle must have closed bullish. So in this case, the previous closing price must be greater than the previous open price. And now that's all we need in order to detect bullish and bearish engulfing candles. And then to create a trading signal out of this, we're going to create a new Boolean value called trade signal. And trade signal is going to be assigned to, we're going to combine these two variables, these two Boolean values with these two Boolean values. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to use, uh, is we're going to open two parentheses so we're going to have one open bracket and then another open bracket so if you remember algebra from school uh, whatever is in this bracket here this x is going to be executed before whatever's in the outer bracket so this will be executed x will be executed before y the reason we need this is that we're going to check whether the rsi was overbought on the current candle or the previous candle so see in this example here there is no RSI signal below the candle. That's because when this candle closed bullish, the RSI indicator went from oversold to not oversold. Uh, but the previous candle was oversold. So we want to detect this candlestick pattern if the RSI was oversold on this candle or the previous candle. So the way we would do that in PineScript is we would say, is RSI oversold or is the RSI oversold on the previous candle? So the same way we can reference previous open, close, high, low prices using this array functionality, we can do the same with our own custom booleans. So this inner bracket here will be true 
only if the current candle is oversold or the candle before it is oversold. And then we want to combine that with our bullish engulfing candle detection. So we'll just type in here bullish EC. So now this will turn true, this trade signal boolean will turn true if the current RSI is oversold or it was oversold on the previous candle and we got a bullish engulfing candle signal. So we want to do the same for bearish. So this trade signal is going to detect both bullish and bearish signals. And so after this outer bracket that encompasses all of this uh, boolean calculation, we want to add the OR operator and do the same thing for the bearish detection. So two open brackets, and then is the RSI overbought or was it overbought on the previous candle? And do we have a bearish engulfing candle detected? Close bracket. So now this line of code will turn true if we detect a bullish or bearish engulfing candle while the, while the RSI is overbought or oversold. Now, if we save this script, nothing's going to change here because we haven't changed our plot shape and our alert functionality. So what we'll do here is we'll say plot the overbought signal, the sell signal, only if we get a trade signal and that trade signal is a bearish engulfing candle. We'll do the same for the next plot shape. Um, we're going to say here plot a buy signal only if we got a trade signal and it was a bullish engulfing candle. We'll do the same down here, except here, because we want these alerts to be triggered for both bullish and bearish engulfing candle signals, we only need to put in trade signal here. We don't need to uh, specify what type of trade signal. That's only for plotting the signal to the chart. So now if I hit save, uh, we're going to eliminate all of these signals here, and we'll only detect this one and this one up here. So let's hit save and watch the magic happen. There we go. We get only two signals on this chart now. And we have our bullish buy signal when the RSI goes oversold and we get a bullish engulfing candle. And then the same is true of a sell signal. It only plots when the RSI goes overbought and we get a bearish engulfing candle. And the same is true of our alerts. We'll only get an alert to our phone and charting platform if these market conditions are met. And so that's the beginnings of using PineScript to create your own strategy scripts or to detect your own setups in the markets. So once you get proficient at using PineScript, you can use these, these functionality and what I've been teaching you to detect your own trading setups in the markets and send alerts to your phone or email account whenever your trading setup appears in the markets. This helps you to stay on top of the markets without having to check the charts, especially if you trade the 15 minute chart or the five minute chart. This can help you stay on top of multiple markets. Depending on your trading view subscription type, you can set as many alerts as you want. I'm on the pro, I'm on the pro plus subscription, so I can set as many alerts as I want and I could set an alert for every currency pair that I'm trading. And then I don't have to scroll through my charts all the time to detect these setups. This uh, script will detect it for me and send me an alert. So that's it for this lesson. I hope you found it helpful. And uh, in the next lesson, I'm not sure what I will be covering, but it'll be something more advanced than this. So these lessons are going to build on top of each other and become more and more advanced. So if you haven't seen the other lessons, go back and watch them if you're new to PineScript. Otherwise, hang in there. More content is coming. I appreciate your support. Please hit the like button and the subscribe button if you want to be alerted whenever I come out with a new PineScript lesson. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a great week, guys. Good luck with your trading. Good luck with your coding. I'll speak to you soon. Take it easy.